you ask me, I'll say, make this snack called peanut brittle with just two ingredients and let flour breathe. This brittle can serve as a street snack, dessert, or can even be used as a cake toppings, be it fondant cake or buttercream cake. Yeah. Mmm. And one more thing, it is very delicious. Come, let me show you how to make it in just a few steps. To begin, add your peanuts into a tray and salt to remove extraneous materials from the granules. After sorting, discard the waste and transfer the peanuts into your tray and bake for about 20 minutes at medium heat with interval stirring. Your granite is ready once it begins to peel off its skins like this at the rub of your finger. After the skinning, we know to remove the chaffs and get it cleaned for the next step which is the grinding process. You can grind with your blender, coffee grinder, your mortar, anything that can grind this into powder. Once you're done grinding, your grinded peanut looks like this. Please be careful of over grinding into a peanut butter while grinding. We only want it roughly blended like this. Now over the heat, I already have my pot, I will introduce my sugar. I'll be using 250 gram of sugar, which is a cup of sugar. This is because we are using two cups of peanuts. Heat the sugar in low heat with constant stirring until it turns into a caramelized liquid. This process is called caramelization of sugar. It is simply the heating of sugar in the absence of water. This is a scientific method that gives you flavor and color which is desirable in food production. And once you stay up to this point, begin to add your granules. Yes, the grinded granules and mix until they are well combined into a paste. I did it bit by bit to enable easy mixing. So at this point, I'm going to add the rest of the grinded peanuts and then begin to mix. Please ensure that your heat is very low at this point to avoid burning. Mix the thick slurry until everything is nicely combined. Now at this point, make sure that everything you are doing is as fast and as quick as possible. Once you are done combining, grease your surface with oil and then let's work out immediately. Because this paste can be very sticky, I also greased my rolling pin as well and then begin to work out. You can also grease with butter if that is what you have or margarine, okay? Yes. So after rolling out into a flat surface like this, you can decide to cut into any desired shape of your choice, okay? Anyhow you want it, you can cut into triangle, rectangle, cube, any shape of your choice. Please feel free to do that. Explore. <laughs> So for the first one, I cut them into, um, this is rectangle, yeah, or flat shape. Let me, let's do the second rolling. You roll them out after greasing your surface and your table and your rolling pin. Then you can cut and after cutting, I'm gonna give this last one a twist. Another thing you need to know about this is that it can be very hot. <laughs> if this thing burn your hand, <laughs> you will speak in tongue. <laughs> but this is the right time to work on it because if you allow it to get cold, it will dry out immediately and you won't be able to work on it anymore, okay? 
so at this point i'm gonna give this one a twist i will twist it to you know to coin it to any shape of my choice just like so yeah do you like it i think i prefer it like this than just the other flat um, shape and surface yes i prefer it like this so look at a uh, peanut brittle look this is how it's looking looking nice and it tasted good me i like it i like it very well so i would rather say we've come to the end of this lesson thanks for watching if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button follow us in all our social media handle at salpest kitchen see you in the next one i love you guys bye bye